And lift off. Lift off. Modern measuring technology has changed the way infrastructure projects are planned and implemented. We can use satellites and nationwide reference stations to perform measurements, develop models and control machines with high accuracy. Measuring and setting out, which used to be time-consuming manual tasks, are now fully automated using digital technology. This technology brings enormous benefits at every stage of construction, from the feasibility study to the finished project. In addition, other potential savings can be found for future development and maintenance. At the beginning of a project, we know what needs to be done, but not yet how. This means that we are still working on a number of alternative routes, which affects how we plan the collection of data. Due to the layout of the priority road, I suggest we use a combination of airborne helicopter scanning and surface scanning from a vehicle. As these scanning results will be used throughout the duration of the project, the surveying work needs to be defined immediately, considering the long-term use of the data. Airborne laser scanning is primarily used to cover large areas where the final road route has not yet been decided. However, if a section of road is to be upgraded or widened, scanning is often performed on existing highways using road vehicles. Scanning includes not just the recording of laser data, but also photos and video sequences. The carefully collected data is then used by the project engineer to produce 3D models for digital setting out and machine control. To enable visualization of the planning and design work, VR models and construction models for machine control are also produced. When the project proceeds to the next stage, we can add multiple layers to the VR model to create a more detailed picture. The VR model can then function as a common platform for all technical areas. Examination and visualization can be achieved using these models throughout the construction stage. Adding logistics and economics to the model gives us an even more comprehensive model, known as a BIM. Building Information Model. The BIM model has been further developed to use project designs in more ways than before. By adding a fourth and fifth dimension, we are now also able to calculate quantities, make estimates, create simulations and draw up time schedules. In this way, we can get a comprehensive picture of the project that previously was never available. This improves quality and economic value of our work at every stage of the project. In the initial construction stage, the digital model is transferred to the contractor and it is this model that is used as the basis for all machine control. Having a common standard represents significant added values to the system's users. Now when we use digital 3D construction models for machine guidance, we can focus all our attention on propulsion. We can work more rationally and using fewer employees and thereby saving both time and money. Using the control data and a satellite positioning system, the contractor can easily implement construction to a high degree of accuracy. At the heart of the technology is what is known as a network RTK, a nationwide network of fixed reference stations for GNSS satellites. The Swedish national network is managed by SWEPOS. Achieving sufficient accuracy in real time also requires a Project Adapted Network RTK. Project adaptation implies a densification of the national reference station network around the project, which means increased accuracy in the project area. 
As a machine operator, GPS combined with machine control gives me an overview of the entire project, but at the same time allows me to view all the details on my monitor and my exact position. Machine operators using the system send their absolute position to the operation center. Data is gathered from the nearest reference stations, corrected for errors, and adapted to the correct geographical position. With a GPS antenna on the machine, plus sensors on the excavator bucket or bulldozer blade, the machine operators constantly receive real-time positioning information to enable them to carry out their work. Here on my monitor, the screen shows the profile component I'm working on right now. It shows me the position of my bucket and where I need to excavate in order to form the required profile. With everyone involved in the project using the same system, communication problems between consultants, suppliers and contractors are avoided. Productivity is increased, not least through more effective utilization of the machine park, and quality is enhanced. Interactive digital construction techniques increase the probability that the final product will actually correspond to the specified objectives. As a client, we use these interactive construction techniques to provide a value-added infrastructure platform throughout the project. Developments in modern measuring technology are moving rapidly. This is just the beginning of an exciting voyage where accuracy is a new dimension.